Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to explain exactly how the Gumloop Chrome extension works so you can easily get started. So the Chrome extension has two main functionalities, the ability to run Gumloop flows from the extension with the content of your screen as input. So if you're reading a research paper and you have a flow that summarizes and extracts key information, you can simply open the Chrome extension and press your research paper specific flow it will scrape the content of the screen and pass it in. Um, that's one sort of use. The, that's the uh, flow triggering from the extension. The other half is the ability to record browser interactions. So instead of having to write some sort of complicated script in order to automate clicking and opening of pages in a browser, you can simply press record and replay that interaction either from the extension or via gum loop as a, a step in your flow. So the two new nodes in the platform are under the browser extension category. Um, there is browser replay and then browser extension input. Both are quite different, but they uh, utilize functionality from this extension. So the browser extension input is what you're going to want to have in a flow if you want the flow to appear in your Chrome extension. Um, when you have a browser extension input. It is signaling that this flow is Chrome extension friendly, basically. And you can select the action that will be taken when you run it from the Chrome extension. So if your flow is meant to screenshot a website, um, you would choose screenshot. If it's meant to um, get all the URLs on the, on the given page you're looking at or scrape the content, then that uh, is the action that you'll specify. And then in the extension, you'll be able to see that this is a scrape action, this is a get you all URLs action, this is a screenshot action, and if I were to press run, obviously more things would follow in this flow and a lot more AI analysis and custom AI flow building would occur, but this node is pivotal to use it in the extension. Next is the browser replay node. So I'll demo this in a second, but when you're able to record your interactions, You'll press save when you're done recording, and then all of those interactions, or those replays we call them, will appear in this node so that you can have complex browser automation within your Gumloop flow. So let's go ahead and look at an example of using this extension. So this flow, LinkedIn Profile Data Extractor, it will um, scrape a profile and add it into a Google Sheet. Um, this is the Google Sheet. I will scrape my own profile. So let's say I'm like going about my day and I find a candidate that I wanted to catalog with AI. I can simply press play. It's going to run the flow and capturing the content of my screen as input. It will feed that into the AI steps here and my profile should be written to this Google Sheet. There we go. So uh, that's an example of how you can use the Chrome extension just in your day to day. Build your own tools essentially. Um, so whether you want to categorize, extract data, do some crazy AI analysis and dump that into your CRM, your Notion, your database, whatever, wherever you want that data to go, you can just cobble together the flow like this and instantly have a totally custom AI powered Chrome extension, basically. The next thing you're able to do is record action. So let me go to, let's say google.com and I will go ahead and press record and I'll ask, uh, what time is it in Berlin? I'll press enter and I'll click on this first link. Okay. I can click on the Chrome extension now that has been recording and I can press stop recording. I'll say Berlin time is the name. And then if I were to go and replay Berlin time, it's going to prompt me to go back to the original URL. And then I'm able to do two things with this recording. I can either replay it from the Chrome extension, like I'm about to do here, which will just replay exactly what I did. No scripts needed. It'll scroll, 
double click. It can go much further if you'd like, but that's all I recorded. Um, that's one way you can use the recording, but the more exciting way with respect to Gumloop is to use that step within your flows. So within the Berlin time um, flow, it identified that one of the um, one of the text fields I inputted was a search field, so I'm able to dynamically pass in that search query. I could pass in uh, uh, Portugal or, or uh, uh, California or whatever area I want to see the time in, and that uh, replay will be replayed with a different input. Um, and you can specify the action you want to occur at the end of that entire replay, whether I want to scrape, so if I wanted to, to screenshot this website, I would simply choose screenshot and then the image would be passed as output of this flow. Uh, or if I wanted the content, I would scrape that and then pass it into another AI step. Um, but yeah, th that is a, a way of automating browser interaction without needing to write a really complicated script or deal with any like uh, developer tools in order to see what buttons and tags and clicks need to be registered to accomplish your task. That is how the Chrome extension works currently. Uh, hopefully it's a much more approachable way for your team to use their flows. So let's say someone on your team builds the perfect news story analysis flow and you're a bunch of journalists. Everyone can simply download the Chrome extension and run the flow uh, that their coworkers made. It should make them a lot more accessible, uh, approachable hopefully. All you need to do is press a play button. No more needing to visit gumloop.com if you don't want to. All right. Hopefully that makes sense. Uh, feel free to join our Discord server, which is linked several times throughout the Gumloop website. If you have any questions, um, we'll be happy to support and build whatever features you think would be useful in this, uh, this new product. All right. Thanks for watching.